I'm starting with some bright canary yellow on a sponge and sponging that over my eyes, cutting through my brow, and then doing more of a circular shape underneath my eye to create the bottom wing. Once I have the basic shape how I want it, I'm going to take some orange and I'm going to just outline the top of the wing with the orange and then flip my sponge back around to the yellow and blend that in so that I have a multicolored butterfly and so it's a little bit more seamless than if I would just pat the orange on. I am using two separate colors like this because I just really wanted a warm pretty butterfly and I didn't have a split that I wanted to use but you can certainly use a split cake instead to get a multicolored effect. So while that's wet, I am going to go ahead and spray it with some gold glitter. You want to do this when it's wet so that it actually sticks to your paint. And I'm going to take a rainbow one stroke and a one inch brush and before I do my line work, I am going to do a rainbow connecting from one wing to the other. This is a really fun way to do your butterflies. Now I'm going to take this confetti cake I made and a small dauber and I'm going to put these little circular shapes in the body of my butterfly because I want to give it some interest and depth and I think this is just a fun thing to do and I just made this confetti cake so I want to try it of course so that's the other reason. Don't be afraid to go over them if you feel like it didn't pop enough the first time. So now I'm taking a liner brush and I am going to do the line work for my butterfly. I am, I don't always use a liner brush. I decided to use one today and I really like how thin and delicate those lines become. If you're not used to using a liner brush though, do practice because they're kind of hard to control. So you can take a little, little bit of a learning curve. So I am just pulling in little scallops on the side, pressing down on the outside, and then pulling in on the tip of that liner brush. I'm doing some little wiggly lines and then pushing down at the end to get that kind of whimsical line effect. Pulling in some more scallops to give some detail to my butterfly and then lines connecting the scallops and the outer edge of the butterfly wing. I did decide I wanted these a little thicker, so I'm just going over them and pressing down on that liner brush to get some more black. So once I have the outside and the black filled in the way I like, I'm gonna pull in a few really, really thin black lines. Just going over my eye. And kind of create the, you know, kind of faux realistic butterfly. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. And I'm going to give myself a quick winged liner as well. Now I'm just going to do some white dots in varying sizes, mainly focused on the black areas at the top and bottom of the wings. So just press a little bit harder and then right on the tip so you get varying dots. They just look a little bit better if it's not all the same size. And then starburst on the corner of the eyes just to fill that in. Little trick to these, if you make a dot and then pull out from the dot, it just gives a starting point for your starburst and can be just kind of helpful. And when the centers look a little bit fuller, they have more of a twinkly look. So doing those on top of the rainbow as well. And then a few more dots just to finish off the rainbow. And I am going to add some pink lipstick. And there is my rainbow butterfly. Hope you guys like this. It's pretty quick to do for events, which I really like. Thanks for watching.